Ruso. Hello, what's going on? What's going on? Well, yesterday I tried. So you said you wanted to have a convo, and then I tried to have a convo with you, but but you was uh you was a bit a bit drunk, and you was speaking over me a lot, shouting over me actually. So I didn't get to have a word, and I just left. <clears throat> Yeah, because you sat there and felt it was necessary to keep on requesting me. You know that? You and John don't get on. I mean, you also sat there with people in your boxes, camped in your boxes, sleeping, and thinking my mobile phone, knowing full well that I was asleep. But that's not that's not the full story, Ems. <clears throat> the truth of the matter is, yeah? Let me tell you something. You see, if I'm friends with someone, yeah? I'm not someone's part-time friend, so if I'm your friend, that doesn't mean that I, I stop being friends with you or I'm unable to talk to you when I'm around somebody else that doesn't like you. That, for me, that's not, that's not proper. And what happened was I actually only came to your live and was live with you, and I didn't say nothing to John. I wasn't disrespectful, and the guy just started disrespecting me to the maximum. And then when I left the live because you said, well, I don't want to talk to you while he's here, I said, fair enough, I came off. And then he started disrespecting me openly and blatantly to you for no fucking reason. So when you talk about me showing your live, wait one second, one second, let me finish. When you, sh when you talk about me showing your live on my live, I was actually showing, uh, getting your live up so I didn't have to come off of my live to check and um, so I could see what he was saying about me. That's what that was. It was got, it had nothing to do with filming you. The whole thing was about him because he was controlling you and I could see straight through it and you can't see through it. And all I've ever had is, is to be honest, your best intentions. And you've got people around you that just let you, that just watch the, the whole ship sink and, and don't have any good intentions for you. And to be honest, I felt quite disrespected. That's all that was. And I felt like you treated me badly and I ain't got time for that. It wasn't treating you badly. If, if I've got someone with me and that person's really like the person that I'm live with, and the best thing for me to do is to come off the live with that person. I don't, no, want, but... I don't want no conflict between you or John. And if I would have stayed on live with you, that would have meant that John spoke to me. So I had to come off with you so then John would have been okay with me. And I did apologise. I did message it. I apologise. I said, I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. I understand that. So, but <clears throat> part of my problem is, is the man was disrespectful to me for no reason. And you could have told him to do better. And what happened was when I, when I then came back to the live after hearing everything that he was saying about me, when I requested you again, you was then like getting mad at me and telling me that I'm out of order and I need to brush it under the carpet. But if you remember last time when he was rude to me again, um, previously, you said to me, oh, Hustle, can you like, please just keep the peace? And for the sake of you, I said, you know what? Fuck it, I don't even really care anyway. It's only TikTok. I said, John, I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm going to apologize. And he still was rude. So then when this is happening again for a second time, and then you're being rude to me off the back of him disrespecting me, I'm oh, thinking, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. What the fuck have I done? How have you, how are you letting this man disrespect me for no reason? So the first time that happened, I said, I'm so sorry, but we'll speak to you next time on live, promise. Mm -hmm. Hope you're feeling better. And thank you for being a friend to me. I think that was that. I'm not sure. You Say it again, sir. I didn't clock what you just said. And then I messaged you again saying, I'm sorry. Sorry, is this my network or, or yours? Sorry, go on. What did you say? Whose network is this, guys? Is this mine? Mine. My Wi-Fi is not connected for some reason. Go on, what did you say? I didn't catch what you just said. The first time that you done that, I did message you. And the second time you've done it, I messaged you again. And I said yeah. sorry to you twice yeah. because of John's actions. No, yeah, yeah, you did, but then, so, all right, so check this now. So then the other day when this all happened, remember, you requested me, right, and I accepted, and he was disrespectful to me. So it's not like I, I requested you and he was there. That's not what happened. I don't, I don't have control over other people's behaviour and actions. No, you're right, but when I he is... I in my own head, feeling uncomfortable, because yeah. two of my friends are speaking bad to each other. I didn't want that to happen. So no, but like, look, so Ems, this is my, 
Go on, go on, sorry, go on. For me to defuse that situation, I had to come up with you. Otherwise, John would have sat there and not spoke to me all night. I didn't want that to happen. So no, li no, listen, completely, I understand that. And, um, I couldn't request AR for the whole weekend. All right, so I completely understand that, but the, the point I'm making, Ems, is I was never disrespectful to that man at all. You requested me, and he was disrespectful to me, and then you're mad at me for having for for basically defending myself. So I'm like, what the fuck kind of bullshit is this? That ain't that. That's not someone that's really like. I, I don't know. That's to me, that's not cool. My problem was that you come to me and then you started ringing me as well, knowing full well that I was sleeping. No, Ems, this, is, this all happened before that. The Cam 2 was to do with him. Nothing to do with you. I'm watching what this guy is saying about me and also how the fuck he's treating you and making you feel uncomfortable in your own home. Russell, how come when I was in bed sleeping and the cameras on me and John and I was sleeping full well, you knew I was sleeping, but you still rang me on my phone? You'd already, so listen, you'd already, you'd already disrespected me at that point. So for me, that's a taste of your own medicine. That's how I feel. And it's, and to be honest, it wasn't even directed towards you. I was having a buzz at John. Yeah, and then you messaged him saying. I see you, Johnny boy. That's what I wrote in the message. Yeah. Do you know why I wrote that? Because I was on live and I was, you was asleep and I rang your phone on live. I told the viewers I was ringing your phone to, to see, wait, to see what John would do. Right? So we rang. It was a I laugh. Listen, them. one second, Ems. One second. One second. We was having a laugh. I rang your phone and then John starts acting up for the camera. And then what happened was because he picked up your phone and was checking your phone, that's when I sent the text message saying, I see you, Johnny boy. But that, bear in mind, that was all after you already disrespected me. And then yesterday, you then start showing messages between us. Like, let's say, thank God there was nothing crazy and I don't even have crazy conversations with anyone. But let's say I wrote, I, I did have mad conversations in there. The fact that you would show stuff uh, like that's personal and between two people is not cool. Just say that I'm sorry. No, I hear that and I respect that. I appreciate it. But it's just, yeah, man. I think that I was sharing was me saying that I'm sorry. I'm not apologizing for something that I've already apologized for, guys. I've already apologized to John actions and i didn't have to apologize for john's actions but i did no but it's not about john's actions i don't care about john but it's about uh how you made me feel i don't care about john john can't make me feel any way because i don't care about him but if i consider you a friend you're the only person that has the, pa the power to make me feel a certain way do you understand not john because i don't give a fuck yeah and with john being in my home and i didn't want to I didn't want no conflict between you and John. I understand, but I didn't create no conflict, is what I'm trying to say to you. So when I didn't create a conflict and this person attacked me, and then you was then having a go at me for defending myself, I start to then look at you different. For me to have an easier night, it was best for me to come off with you at the time. I understand. I'm not talking about coming off with me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about when you had a go at me for defending myself at him disrespecting me. That's not cool. Because you're just going to trigger him even more. And I didn't but, all right, so what about how I felt? Because he was disrespecting me for no reason. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't do nothing to the man. And even after you already disrespected him in the first place, I was still consistently trying to be nice when he was ignoring me. Was I not? I was like, John, come man, you're cool. Come in the camera, let's talk, John. John, you're cool, you're cool. I come on, man. Right. Say it again. I can't, I can't do right from doing wrong, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah, but listen, listen. It's not about doing right from wrong. It's a, listen. Sorry, sometimes. At that time, I thought it was best to come up with you, and then what happened? I, I sat there, John. Yeah, was a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit about you. I wasn't really listening to it. I went to bed. No, listen, you're not understanding. Coming off with me is not the problem. I don't care if we if we don't ever go live. I don't care if we go live every other day, every week, whatever, however long it is. What I'm talking about is how I was disrespected that night. It's not about if we were live or not. But listen, at some point, when it comes to like, when I'm telling you as someone that's actually tried to be there for you that I felt disrespected and you're not taking accountability for that, I feel even more disrespected because you're blaming it on, on, on John, but I don't give a fuck about John. It doesn't mean I disrespected you though. <clears throat> no, you did. What well, by not sticking up to her? By not telling him he's wrong for disrespecting me for no reason. He was disrespecting me 
in my home, hustle, fucking hell. I didn't want no conflict between me and Johnny was in my home. What am I supposed to say? Tell him that he shouldn't be doing that. Right, so all right, so wait, why is it okay for him to tell you that you shouldn't be doing this and that and, and these people are this and that in front of you? But like I don't understand. What's your there's no excuse. I didn't want no conflict. I understand that. It is not conflict though. This it's not conflict telling people what, what like how their behaving is not right. It is because then John would have had a problem with me. So then I that's a problem. I didn't want to have a problem with John. So then that's a problem between that's I didn't want to have a problem with John, I didn't want to have an argument with John with John uh -huh. No. All right, so check this now, Ems. I'm going to tell you to listen carefully to what you're saying. Just try and like listen to what you're saying. If that's something that you feel afraid of in your friendship with this individual, that's something you need to check out because that's not a good situation to be in. That you don't that you don't feel you can tell this person how they're acting is wrong in your own home. That is fucking crazy. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Here? Like, come on, man. That's not a problem with me. If I'm inside, look, if I'm inside your house right now and I'm your friend and, and I'm disrespectful to someone that's on the other side of the screen or someone you consider a friend and you tell me, yo, um, yo, Hustle, what you're doing is wrong. I'm going to I'm going to respect what you're saying. OK, cool. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't make you like it's not conflict. It's a normal adult conversation. I'm sorry. No, I'm not trying to get you to say sorry, but I'm just trying to get you to realize like that's what it was, and that's how I felt. I already apologized that night. I don't. Would you? Oh, when when you sent the text message. Yeah, but I said I'm sorry. No, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But it was just the day after you you said you wanted to speak, right? And then when you said you wanted to speak, um. No, I hear you. Uh, yeah, maybe that wasn't on, but what I was doing was nothing directed towards you. But I also f already felt a certain way and disrespected. So for me, it was like, whatever, I don't really care. This person don't care about me. But listen, I'm not, I'm not here to, to, to make you cry, make you upset. I'm not here to make any woman upset. But the truth is... I wouldn't have apologised to you yet. I would have just left it. If I didn't care about you, I would have just left it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have messaged you and apologised to you. The twice that John's been here and the twice that there's been conflict between you and John, I have messaged you and apologised for John's actions. No, yeah, I hear that. But <laughs> do you not even see the problem in that? Like, that's crazy that you have to keep apologizing on behalf of someone in private as well. And that's what I'm saying to you, Ems. Like, there's no one I, I, there's no one around me that can be my friend, yeah? And is openly disrespectful to you that I have to keep my my friendship separate from this person. Act like, this person's not... Like, do you get what I'm saying? That's that's not cool. That's like, that's part-time and I'm not... I, I, I can't... Like, that's weird. I didn't want no conflict at the time. No, I hear that. In my heart, I didn't want conflict with John. I hear that, man. And obviously, that's why I've come up with you. I'm sorry if, I, if you feel, feel dis disrespected by me. That wasn't my intentions. No, I hear that. It's not about coming off, though. Just so you know, I don't. You could have. You, you didn't have to. You could have just came off with me. I don't. I didn't really care. It's what you said when you was coming off. You was basically telling me that I'm in the wrong and all of this, and I'm like, what the fuck did I do? I'm the one that was getting insulted. And and then after the fact, then you was you were saying that I'm vile and I'm a clout chaser and I'm all of this and, and I'm thinking, what? I never said you were vile. You, you said all of these things, I've seen it. I never said you were vile, I, I really didn't. You did. And it's not a word that I do. You said, you, said I'm, I'm, you said I'm a fake person. You said all of these mad things that I'm like, huh? I've only ever been real. Vile. All right. But yeah, man. Um, but that's it. Listen, I just wanted to get my point across, and, and that's all. Because yesterday I tried to get my point across, and I couldn't get a word in. And so that's why I left you to it. What'd you say? I said yesterday wasn't a good day. No, I hear it. <coughs> but here's what it is, man. Listen, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Catch you in a bit, bro. Still okay. Huh? Are we still okay? Listen, I'm all right, man. But it's just uh, the the part time stuff is just I don't know. It's disrespectful, isn't it, for me? Well, maybe when John's here, I just don't be question, is it?
Yeah, I'm not fussed either way. I don't really care, but what I'm saying is just, yeah. Don't really for that to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, man. Go on. Do your thing. Taking responsibility is apologising to someone and saying, okay, yeah, I could have done things a bit different. But I'll still stand by it at the same time. You shouldn't have rang me and you shouldn't have messaged. That was just to get a John, not, not me, to get a John. <clears throat> Never thought well that I was asleep. They were come to me whilst I was sleeping. And he knew that I was asleep but he still rang me. I don't agree with that. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm gonna go with M's day. Yeah, and I apologise for upsetting him. I've said I'm sorry numerous of times. <clears throat> Is there any mods on? Where's Mel? Some of these comments are going crazy. I need more mods. I don't know who to pick because I don't know who to trust. Because they all just fuck you over. One minute they're your best friend, the next minute they'll fuck you over. The mods have gotten her great. And I've had the mods now for about a year. The two other people that I made mod, they've been mod for about like six months less than that and they've already been taken off because they're fake. But the four people I've got now, they're the best. I need more people like them. And it's so hard to find people that are true to you. I don't want to go sub only though. My phone won't connect to the internet. My Wi Fi. It did, I took your advice and I bought one of those things, but I don't know how to use it. It's only 46.1. How do you know if it's too high? What's the decimal for it to be too high? I should just fucking give that thing away to someone. It's fucking broke. And then stick with me fucking little Alexa. 
It's the bass on that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I don't want to be here in this fucking flat. The whole place is depressing me. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.